then I'll probably pursue it a little bit. Obviously, it's a once in a lifetime chance, as yeah. I said. And um, if it doesn't work out, I have a finance degree um, from the University of Iowa, which is, I mean, a great degree. That's what Jake said he has. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was in a couple classes with Jake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so if it doesn't work out for football, I, I should be able to get a, a job somewhere. How, what are you? What are you? What are you doing for money now? Uh, that's a tough thing. I, I don't really have a source of income right now, so I'll probably have to get a job pretty quick here. Jake said he was a Lyft driver, and it's weird. Lyft driver and uh, order up. Riley, Riley's been doing order up. Um, I, so I might have to get into some of that stuff. Um, any source of income at this point is just to just to keep putting towards rent. And, Absolutely. Yeah, whatever pays the bills. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play this interview for my kids. Yeah, yeah, do it. Thanks, man. No problem. Thank you. Did you think you're going to be in this situation five years ago when you're kind of playing playing Division Three basketball? Um, no, I mean I got here and I was 225 pounds, and it's like that was a million miles down the road. And um, being able to gain 90 pounds, being 315 now, and um, at that point the goal was to become a starter, and I was able to achieve that. Um, and then just from there, work up to have a pro day. I was hoping to get invited to the combine. That didn't work out. Was able to perform at the pro day where tons of scouts are out there watching. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's just been a dream come true this whole way. How did you do in your agility and, and bench today? Um, I was I was looking to get 20 on the bench. Um, I ended up getting 17, which which isn't too bad. I got long arms, long ways to go. Um, but I thought my agility was pretty good. I, I'm not sure what my times were, but I felt fast. Um, I think Doyle's keeping it a secret. <laughs> so are you based here now in Iowa City? I've been living in Iowa City, yeah. Okay. Um, but my, my parents are still back home. Um, but I, I'm going to stick around here definitely and keep training and um, keep trying to uh, become a better player. Because I know, uh, you know, in the next couple, six weeks or four weeks or whatever it is. It's going to seem like forever. Yeah. It's going to seem like forever. But you're going to be on the road a lot, too. Yeah, yeah. that's also true. Yep. Yeah. Had some interest from teams. Um, I mean, the more you're traveling, the better because uh, you're, you're working out in front of um, teams and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then when draft day comes around, either it happens or it doesn't, you get picked up by a team. Um, and, I mean, that's the goal, just an opportunity. Yeah. I mean, who, who's your agent? Neil Cornrich. Neil Cornrich, okay. So Kirk's guy. Yep. He, I mean, he does a good job. He, he knows people. Mm -hmm. He has connections. And, I mean, he's a he's a player's guy. He's going to take care of all his guys first. Mm -hmm. And um, I really believe in Neil. And, and what's been the workouts been like here with uh, everybody? You know, I mean, I'm sure you've been working out with, what, 10 other guys probably? And, and then Marshall Yana happens to walk in once in a while? Yeah, I mean, originally it was um, just about five or six of us because a couple guys left and, and went other places. And then... Um, over the last few weeks, we've had anyone, everyone come back, and it was, it was a great experience. Um, I was I was talking about Jake Doozy coming yeah. back in. I mean, it's just great to have old faces back in the building and working out with those guys again. What's it like having somebody like Marshall Yon, you know, nearby and, and watching him work out and knowing, I mean, he's on his way to the Hall of Fame? It, I mean, it's really incredible because the, the guy's the nicest guy you'll ever meet, mm -hmm. and he gets on the field and the switch turns, and, you know, he's the baddest guy out there. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been I've been here, and he's the best in the league. And I mean, he works his butt off, and it's no I mean, it's no surprise that he is. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good luck. Thank you.